Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we create a square video in Final Cut Pro. Now we're gonna have a look at how to set up the project timeline, but then we're also gonna have a look at how to put a portrait or a landscape video into that square format. So first thing we're gonna do, and we've got our library set up here, we're gonna to come to File and New, and come across to Project, which is where we set up our project timeline. And then we're gonna jump in here, and if you don't see all these settings in the new project window that pops up, you may be using the automatic settings, which shows you this kind of more minimal window. So you wanna click on use custom settings so that you can see all the different options. And then it's from this video dropdown that we're gonna select that square format. So if we scroll down here, we'll select square, and then the default that it goes to is 720 by 720, which is kind of the smaller square format. We're going to change that to 1080 by 1080 so that we get a good quality square format for use on Instagram, Facebook, that type of platform. Uh, we'll leave it at 30 frames per second. The render format uh, can be Apple ProRes and the audio can stay as is. And we'll call this Water Polo Promo. So we'll click OK here. So now we're going to drop our first videos down to the timeline. So I'm going to grab this portrait video first of all. And what you'll see when you drop it down, we're gonna remove the sound from this video. So what we'll see first here is that it letterboxes the video. So it's fitting the video into that format. So what we wanna do is change a couple of settings here so that it fills the whole video. And first of all, actually, we're just gonna click on the timeline and do Shift and Z to fill that. And then we're gonna scrub down our timeline and we'll just find a spot that we're gonna use in here. So we'll come towards the end of this video and we are going to trim it down to here. So I'll just grab the beginning of my clip, we'll trim it down, and then trim it down from the end. Uh, so we've got a minute long video there, and then we're gonna do Shift and Z so it fits the timeline again. And now we're gonna get this to fill our square format. So if you don't see your inspector up at the top right here, then you wanna go to Window, show in workspace and make sure the inspector is checked. And this will give us the options for the video that we have selected on the timeline. So up in the video tab here, the first tab, you can see if we scroll down, we've got this spatial conform option, which allows us to fit, fill, or have no spatial conform. So if we choose fill, it will actually fill that frame. If we choose none, then it's gonna reduce the size of that. So we'll actually go to fill. And so now we can then reframe this by using the transform option at the bottom left of our video here. So once that's on, we can move this around to get that right location for that video. And you can see we've got that yellow line snapping it either to the middle or just to the vertical or horizontal axis. So we will leave this round about here. That looks like it's getting most of the action in there. So that is how to get that vertical format um, into your video. And similarly with the horizontal format, if we drag one of these clips down to the timeline, a bit of a shorter clip here, then we can see we've got an HDR clip in an SDR project. So I'm gonna click OK there. Actually what that's gonna mean is it's gonna look super blown out at first. So we're gonna to have to do something else here. So often if you're getting video footage from a newer iPhone, then you will have this HDR format. So I'm gonna do Shift and Z, and then we're just gonna bring up our effects across on the right here, and we're gonna scroll down to our color options, and it's this HDR tools that we want. So I'm gonna do Shift and Z again. We'll reduce the volume on this one, and we're gonna grab this HDR tools, pull it across, and then we have these options that we can change. Uh, we're gonna change this to HLG to Rec, and that should do a pretty good job of fixing the color for us. So we're gonna turn off the transform tools here, and then we'll scroll down and use this fill option Again, so now you can see that landscape video is filling the video there. So we can reframe it using the transform options and then just check all of our action is there. So that's how to get your video to fill the, the frame. Um, if we actually come up to our zoom level here, we'll zoom to 50%, we can also use the transform tools to make that video a bit bigger. So if we wanna increase the size of it, then we can actually do that too. So if we click over this video, select it, we can use those transform tools to zoom in that little bit more um, over the video. So I'm gonna turn off my transform tools so I don't accidentally move anything here. We'll go back to fit. And now I'm gonna trim this video down a little bit. We'll come back here and we'll just trim it from here. So I'm gonna use O to mark an out point. We'll delete the beginning of that video. We'll just play this through. We'll take that pass, one more pass, 
and then the swim and then we'll mark an endpoint to delete the end of that here so we've got a nice 14 second total long video if we go to the share button up at the top right we can go to share the master file and in here if you're transferring this to your phone then you just want to make sure that you're using the h264 rather than the apple prores video codec so that you can upload it to instagram or facebook so we'll click next here with this master file format and we'll save this to the desktop so if we use command and tab we can come to our finder here if you don't see a finder window then just come down to your dock click on new finder window and then we can open up another new finder window so file new finder window and i'm going to go to airdrop here and now with airdrop we can grab that video and then drag it across to our iphone here and it will then transfer across and from there we can then go into instagram and upload it so that's a quick overview of how to set up edit and export out a square video for instagram or facebook in final cut pro if you have any questions about this or other things that you'd like to know about setting up these formats for social media then leave a comment below otherwise i look forward to seeing you on the next video